guys, it's Becky with um, Vintage Viking Treasures, and I'm going to do a cleaning haul with you. I got two lots of glass, ruby and cobalt, and I'm going to clean them in the sink. And right here, I was trying to get the morning sunshine so we can see how beautiful colors there will be. So you're going to have to bear with me a little bit, see if we can get this captured on the camera. So I'm going to lower it down right here, right into the sink here. We're going to wash them up. Whoa. And then see if we can get the tripod to cooperate with us. And then I'll put them over here. Of course, this Pyrex is for sale too. Got to wash that up today soon too. So here's the first one. It is um, is a creamer. It was one of the ones that um, we had in our haul. Actually, it was one of the ones that was back in um, the ruby glass. Um, Oh, the video for Pikes Peak Depression Gloss Club. So I'm just going to get a little bit of soapy water going here so we don't have to listen to that the whole time. So we can give it just a quick... Just lots of these were up in the in the kitchen and I think they had that kitchen grease and everything like that on them. So I know this one is a creamer and it's something about the eye design, the heart design with that eye winker on it beautiful though can you see it that sunshine going through it gorgeous ruby color so I should unwrap I guess a few more to start with but then that's what's the fun of this oh there is green in here too this looks like a cruet got a little bit of um, swirls on both ends here let's see, what we can do. let's see if we can just drizzle a water doesn't make a bunch of noise. That is a gorgy, gorgy, oh my goodness, gorgeous emerald color. It's a nice cruet. No stopper, I don't think, though. So we'll have to see. I don't think there's any stoppers in the box here. Let's see. It's a little amber one. Looks like it's uh, art glass little swirl to it. It's not bright. It's kind of a brown color. You see that? A little brown to that gold. I think just throw the wrappers on the floor. See how fast we can go. This one looks like a bottle. Let's see. Oh, it's flashed. You can see the clear on the bottom right there. So the color is flashed onto it. It says red D-O-L-E-R-E. -E. So well, somebody must have had some sort of a, oh, a drink or a, I don't know, oil or something. They like the bottle. Put it up on the shelf. That one will probably just go out on my booth. Out on my table. It doesn't look like it's. Something that's really collectible to me, just a pretty piece of glass. Here we got, this one's not cobalt, but it's a nice blue color. It's got a rough pontal on it, maybe even has a little bit of some uh, sand in it when it was finished off. They're like polka dots or giant hobnails, but they're not pointy. So it reminds me much more of polka dots. Nice blue color. It's not quite cobalt. I don't know what you want to call it. A Celeste is what I think they would say it would be in more of a, a Fenton color name. So this one was so got a little extra dirt on it. This is like a nice smoky blue color. Has a little very cobalt um, towards the stem where the glass is thicker. I would guess this is an Empoli, Italian style glass. A nice compote with the stem. That's a really pretty smoky gray blue cobalt color. You see that? It's beautiful. It's got the spiral optics. And because when you see through to both sides, it looks like a diamond optic because you're seeing the spiral go this way and, the, and then the other way from the back. So you're seeing the 
like a crisscross pattern on the back side of the glass. What's next? This is a little one. Oh, it has a stopper. Oh, a little crackle glass. Blue decanter, not decanter, cruet. A nice light blue color. It sure do wash up nice. When you put a little bit of soap and water on that grease and dust, just takes it right off. Makes them look so much prettier, especially in the sunlight. Let's see, what do we got here? Yes, nice light blue color. Applied handle, crackle glass with a three ball stopper. Beautiful. End up with a good variety on this slot. I think I got about, oh, that's a stopper for something else, but I don't have the big piece for it yet. Should we do the stopper next? This is really pretty. We'll have to look forward to finding the other half of this as we get into the, into the box here. This looks hand blown. You can see the bubble inside the stopper here and the bubble inside the, the top as well. So we'll set that aside. That's almost a teal. It's got a little bit more green in it than um, the rest of the, than the blue so far. This vase, definitely more cobalt but it is very thin I think this one is probably doesn't have a pontal on it it's probably blown into a mold or pressed into a mold it's a gorgeous color great for being in the window but that one probably go out at my table as well what's next oh there's a big one it's not that big, but it is lidded. So let's see what comes out. Looks like a lidded candy dish. Um, I would say moon and star, but I don't think it is correct. The star looks right, but it is not moon and star. It's another variation of that pattern. Beautiful ruby glass. Nice. Uh, lined stem on that. You can see the mold marks right here. There's one, two, three, four. It was a four part mold. So there's four pieces that went together when they put that to put the glass in. And I think there is a lid for that. Here it is. Here, look at how dusty. I mean, it just doesn't look like much with the dust and the grime on it. Let's put a little, a little soap on it. A little water, a little elbow grease, and there it is. Just sparkles right up. Beautiful ruby color. The sun come through it, and here's what it looks like put together. There's got to be. I have to find out the name to this because it looks like star, but I know it's not moon and star. But it's very, very similar to that pattern. It's got another little star indent here on the, the lid as well. What a cute little comfort candy dish. Turn it over, let the water drain out there so we don't end up with more watermarks on it. We'll end up getting out of, I'll end up getting out a little, uh, oh, another one of these tea towels to probably finish off the drying. This looks like an amberina. It's my mom's, one of my mom's favorite colors. Starts out with um, the red at the top, almost a clear rim where that glass is pressed out from the mold. It goes down into that gorgeous amber color and back into a little bit more of an, almost an orange because of how thick the glass is. Ugh, dusty. My goodness, it's dusty. Let's see what this one looks like. Let me give it a little rinse. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful color? It's got the ribbed um, sections on the inside of the vase. You can feel it. It does have a pontal. I'm going to go out and guess that this is possibly, uh, my first on my list be guessing would be Blinko on this one. And that means probably mom will get first dibs since that is one of her favorite glass companies. All right, here's a little green bottle. Almost, a, I would say a forest green kind of color. 
does it say on the bottom? It's got some numbers, looks like. I'm not quite sure what that one says. I would guess if I had my first guess on this one is it's probably similar to a Hobby Lobby, just a deco. But it is a pretty color. Nice uh, pop of color to add to a shelf of collectibles. Let's see, we got about, oh, I don't know, 10. I think I got close to 20 pieces total on this group. I bought um, the group of um, the Ruby. Oh, it's spraying. I'll have a lovely soapy mess to clean up later on the counter. I bought a group of the Ruby. It has some of the Amberinas in it. And I brought a lot of the blues and greens all together. So that's how I purchased them. The local auction here in Colorado Springs. Local pickup. I didn't have to go far. It was nice. Just had to go and get them. Pack them up. Bring them home. This one, I have had this shape before. I think it's um, it's, it's like an orange color. I wouldn't say it's a ruby or an amberina because it's not as dark at the top. But it's very, very similar. So it could be. Just depends on how thin the glass gets when it's blown into the molds to how much you see that amberina look. So it's either an orange to an amberina color. Got a little goop there. Looks like a sticker. Let's wipe that off. There it goes. And it has a pontal. And I've had this shape before, the same jug and other colors, so I know this is Blinko. So I'll put that one in the Blinko pile. What's next? Oh, here's a twofer. Now most of this has been art glass and blown, um, blown into a mold. And then you get the rough poncel. That's where you're, uh, or, or they polish it depending on who the manufacturer is to finish it off. Oh, this is an amethyst color. Amethyst crackle. Mini vase with the jack in the pulpit style there. That's what that, when you pull up, when they pull up the one side and push down the other lip, looks like a jack in the pulpit flower. Has a rough pontal. I would guess this one is probably Pilgrim. Pilgrim or Kanawa. Can, can. Kanawa, I always pronounce it wrong. I always think I'm saying it the right way. And I always say it the wrong way. Because I overthink it. This is a little pink piece. It's a Sherbert Depression Glass. And I am guessing, since Mom has this had this pattern before, you can see it a little bit more up close. That is Cherry Blossom, I do believe. One Sherbert and Cherry Blossom. So I'll have to see if she has any more of that out already in her table that she'd like to add that to. Somebody must have just liked the color for it. Oh, now here's a goodie. Let's see. See how dusty he is on his belly? Get him a little smudge on his face. Look at how much cleaner and shinier. and Oh, the glass just lights up in the sunshine. That's why I wanted to try and get this done before the sun went away here on uh, my kitchen window comes in most of the early morning for me. Looks like he was stuck to a shelf. Got a little paint from a shelf on him. We'll see what he looks like. It's like a, a makeover <laughs> for glass. Let's see if we can see him here. Little owl. I am guessing, I was trying to put him in the, in the sunshine so we can see him good. I'm guessing this is Viking. We'll have to look him up. See what the book says. So let's rearrange just a little bit. We're gonna run out of space. Make a little more room. I know, isn't it? Just a fun melody of all the different thicknesses a glass make. It's kind of a beautiful noise. Disconcerting at times because we wouldn't want it to be the, the crashing sound of glass, but still. It's like glass is like a, an experience for all your senses, in my opinion. Here's a pre-dusty picture. I think they probably use these for underneath, kind of like saucers to set off their items on their shelf. I am, my recollection is that these are anchor hawking, I think. And I think, yeah, they're saucers. They have that um, ring right there in the bottom. Can you see it? There it is. For a cup. Look at how much brighter that ruby is now. 
So I got one. Let's see, they're either anchor hawking or um, what was the other word for it? Anchor hawking or the other one is a very similar name. And the other one, all three, one, two, three saucers. One, two, three eyes on me. Oh, here's the big candy dish in the Amberina. This is definitely moon and stars. Here's our pre-goop, gooped up, dusted up. Look at this set. It's a short foot, so it doesn't have a tall stand on it. But it's a beautiful candy dish nonetheless. I would guess this one's almost six inches across. Almost sounds like a bell. And as I'm actually, as I'm holding this upside down, it reminds me of the, um, the lampshades they would make. So they'd use molds for different things. Like this one upside down, it looks like a lampshade, so it'd be like on a pedestal. So if they had molds that they wanted to repurpose and reuse, they just take the same thing, drill a hole in it, call it a different piece. Same um, with like the tidbit trays and stuff with the plates. Look at that beauty in the sunshine. Gorgeous Amberina Moon and Stars. Now this is definitely Moon and Star. You can see the ruby down into the yellow for the Amberina. And I'm gonna bring the other piece up here and show you the difference in the pattern. So here's the big Moon and Star. And this is a little bit smaller. It's got a very, very similar with the thumbprint and the star, but it is just not the exact same thing. So we'll look that up see if we can figure out what that one is. They did a really ingenious way for these candy dishes to sit the lids. They have the scallop right inside a flat straight edge lip and it fits right over the scallops on the base. So I'm guessing that's why some of these ones didn't have as much where they fell off and got broken because they sat so much nicer. Ambrina, gorgeous. Let's bring these back. Bring this up so you can see it together. Together again. Nice, beautiful Ambrina candy dish. Gorgeous color. All right, we're down to looks like one or two. I think two more. Last of the lots. I believe this guy. Is a liquor bottle or I mean I think so what does it say it says I mean it's like a cabin I mean it's a cool bottle regardless it's shaped like a cabin and it says old cabin whiskey yeah <laughs> eg booze b-o-o-z apostrophe s eg boozes Cabin whiskey, old cabin whiskey, and it says 20 Walnut, Philadelphia. 120 Walnut, Philadelphia on that side. You can see on this side it's plain, but you can see the roof, the shingles, detail in the glass. And it says same thing, old cabin whiskey on the roof on this side. And then it's got a door and a couple windows. That's just a really fun, a really fun piece. And it's a nice blue color. Not quite as dark as cobalt, but a beautiful blue nonetheless. All right, last one. Here it comes. I think this is one of the really, I think this is one of the pieces that really um, caught my eye on these listings. And it's Crackle, and it is a, let's see, it's got a bottle topper, it should be. A, it's not the cruet because it doesn't have a spout, so it'll be a decanter. Oh, it's got a nice teal color to it. It's got the pontal, but it's it's um it's smooth. It doesn't have any rough marks on it. So again, I would guess this is probably one of to go with Pilgrim. Look at that ground. See the stoppers ground right here. Let's see if we can bring that up. Ooh, there it is. How oh, it's kind of got a frosted look to it. 
the rest of the glass is shiny. That's where they ground it down to make sure it would fit inside the bottle itself. And it's ground also in the lip of the bottle right there. There it is. That guy is probably 10 inches to 12 inches tall. Much more teal. Look at that gorgeous sunshine through it. You can see the reflection on the counter. Beautiful piece of glass. So, there we are. That is the end. I have two lots of the glass for y'all. Beautiful online auction haul. So, I'll give you one quick overlook of it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it all. We'll pretend like you can see it. There's the bowl that needs to be washed still. But beautiful, beautiful glass. So, there it is. Thanks for watching. See you next time.